What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Shar. Come here with me. Come here with me. Yes, honey, you get the picture. Listen, today we're going to talk about how some stuff resurfaced, all right? Because I'm sitting here and I'm looking at everybody's chat and I'm watching everybody's conversation. I'm like, Lord, I've heard this story before. Why does this sound familiar? So, of course, I had to go back and, you know, rewind some stuff and go pull some of my old videos. And I was like, oh, okay, we talked about this already. So the reason why it's resurfacing, because people are trying to find out why did Carlos go to uh, Hunts? for this emergency meeting and it's being alleged from some youtubers and um also being confirmed from urban bell magazine that carlos possibly or allegedly had to go to huntsville to address mr martell says that he has the ball in his court and if you guys want to record him as if he hasn't done enough damage already if you guys want to record him record his real life now in my head i'm thinking you know real life would be you know the children and the extra one that you made because how much we don't like the extra one, the reality is that the extra one is a part of him, right? Um, and we can't, we just can't erase that as bad as we would like to, right? Um, because respect is due to a dog, right? Unfortunately. But here it go, here it go. So we keep talking about it. And I'm just like, wow, you know, why do you want to, what, what is considered your real life? Maybe it's your mother, you know, because your mother play a good part in your life, you know. Well, what is considered your real life? But then when I kept reading, they said that it's been alleged that it's Miss Ariana's part of your real life. Hell, you don't take her serious in your real life, right? I don't even consider her a real life human being, right? Because you all forgot that she had an assignment to do. And her assignment was to remain a John Doe. Her assignment was to remain face down, butt up. You already know what that means. So I ain't got to elaborate that thing for you, right? So that wouldn't be considered a real life. Even now, she's a shelf baby, allegedly. And in my opinion, right, is shelf babies only get picked up when they're asked to be picked up. That means that they wait days, months, hours, years until the individual come back and get them. That's what we classify shelf babies as. So when you're talking about real life, see, that's not a real life situation. That's things that happen to stuffed animals, you know, doll babies. And, you know, they get all cluttered in the play box, you know, in the toy box and the, the play pen and in the chest, you know, all that stuff that children hold their toys in. So that wouldn't be considered real life. That would be considered a playhouse, right? That would be considered somewhere where you go and have fun. So when you talk about real life and you pit her into that same scenario, I have the question, do you really consider that your real life? But if it is, that's your problem. And then you can say, you know what? That is my real life. My baby mama is one person and she'll raise another person. And we're all just going to be this whole happy, lucky family. And I can respect that more than you saying and putting up an argument of you wanting her to film. I hope that that's not true. But you know what? Then I had to do some rewinding of my own videos. And I remember Ariane posting a post and saying that, you know, repeating verbatimly, what Carlos might have had a conversation with you and you went back like the sucker you are, okay? And you went back and you repeated that conversation to her to give her some type of leverage or to make her think he comes back and tell me everything, right? So you repeated that conversation with her, but you better be careful what you keep repeating because sometimes what you repeat can cost you to lose a job, right? It's not worth it because we all know that Ms. Ariane has showed on numerous occasions that she can't hold water and she will make a butt out of you every single time, right? So I don't know why you would do that but I'm hoping and I'm praying that this rumor is alleged right because there's here's the other side of it not only was she had to be your ex-wife because she made a choice to choose herself but you want her to do a show that she founded uh with her husband at some point and now she has to film your mistress at the time of y'all of y'all split don't you think that's a little unfair more than a little unfair, it's, so it's not even suitable. It's not even a humanistic response to me. It's disgusting. It's, it's distasteful. I can just allow it to go on and on and on. So that's even another portion of it that we haven't even addressed. So I will hope that producers have enough heart to say, wait a minute, we got to have more dignity and respect in this. And if it's going to cost us Martell, then so be it. He done cost enough hell anyway, right? I hope that that's the end result of that. And I'm just going to keep my, my ears to the street and my eyes open to the street and see what the hell is going on but I hope that that emergency meeting wasn't something like that I hope that you had more dignity and respect for the lady that carries your children take care of your children allow you to struggle she don't come for you when you're struggling right and the list goes on I will hope that you can do better than that you got me messed up but I'll be back for you if it's true all right listen meet me in the comment section turn your notification on hit the like button and subscribe bye